What's up, otakus? It's your tour guide here. It's the weekend. It's great weather here in Seattle. I'm sure a lot, you know a lot of the country's suffering sort of heat waves, and uh, I hope everyone's staying cool and safe. Please stay hydrated. Um, stay out of the sun if you can. And uh, yeah, the, the weather has started to warm up here in Washington, um, which is a welcome change. It's been very quite cold and and gray and rainy for most of the summer so far. We've only had like little breaks of uh, sunshine and warmth. But uh, this weekend is supposed to be uh, just really warming up. It's gonna hit like the 80s. Um, right now it's currently 70 right now. It's just really ideal outside. And so yeah, um, I just thought I'd jump on and do a quick video now. Um, I've uh, I haven't been really consistently participating in uh, Bearded and Cole's monthly comic challenge. In fact, I think I missed the last couple ones. Um, and part of the reason I these comic co cover challenges are really difficult is you have to kind of sift through your comics and and look for uh, the books that you want to kind of feature and showcase. Well, uh, this this month's is a really fun one. I saw, you know, my, my buddy Nam Man Hyung, he, um, <laughs> he put out a really uh, entertaining video where he plays his, where he uh, interacts with his younger self and uh, it's, it's quite, quite entertaining. But he did a, he did a, a video on the theme this month, which is vehicles so you're showing off comic covers that feature vehicles and so i thought it'd be, it'd be really fun to to start the sort of the plane train and automobile and whatever else comes comes out of that um we'd go that route so let's start with some planes in my uh collection and we'll start here with um a classic um this is just a beautiful early Bronze Age book. Um, I think it's technically like, yeah, it's early Bronze Age. And this is Superman uh, 226. Um, and you can see the planes there. Superman is, this is really an homage to King Kong as well. Um, uh, King Kong was such a, a, a big movie back in the, you know, I think it was like the 40s when it came out. Um, and then again in the, uh, in the 70s it came out again, like you know, early 80s or 70s it came out again, but, um, yeah, it's, it's just been sort of a popular, uh, you know, it's been a popular, uh, content, cultural content, King Kong for many years. And yeah, we just have jet planes firing at Superman. Um, beautiful cover and uh, next we'll move on to more planes this is a crash plane and it's a crash plane the plane crashes in Canada this is sets up a the first cameo appearance of x-factor in x-men 120 so yeah, a plane has crashed. It looks to be some kind of Boeing jet. I don't know why the X-Men are flying in costume on a Boeing jet. <laughs> it just seems rather random. Or maybe it... No, I don't think it's the Blackbird. The Blackbird wasn't introduced until later. So, But yeah, they, they, they emerge from the wreck um, to battle Alpha Flight really cool story um so yeah those are our planes in the collection so far i guess we're next moving to trains and i've only got really one train in my collection so um not that not that thrilling but i guess we'll start here with gi joe 27 and this is just um an epic battle this is sort of the history or the origin story of 
Snake Eyes and Storm Shadow over a two two issue uh, series. So twenty six and twenty seven. This is the second part in that, and um, yeah, I kind of uh, it moves between a flashback and in the present, and this this is just a great cover of. New York City graffiti train, uh, like the New York City subway train with graffiti on it, and then Wild Bill, Wild Bill's helicopter right there, the dragonfly, a dragonfly flying in the background. That's a great vehicle cover. I wish I had more. You know, the thing, the, what you're not going to see in this um, list that I would have loved to have featured or have these books in my collection is like, obviously, like, Millennium Falcon, TIE Fighter, Darth Vader's TIE Fighter. That would have been great. Um, I think I did, did used to have the Millennium Falcon. Um, I just got, you know, I just got rid of my old 90s Star Wars books. Um, but I think I had a few of those, like, iconic vehicles. Um, so you're not going to see any of those. You're not going to see, what's another iconic? I'd love to get the, uh, like, the first Knight Rider in comics get the get Kit that'd be a great comic to have um what other famous vehicles um yeah like the Blackbird the X-Men's Blackbird right that would be a cool vehicle to have Batman's Batmobile um is another iconic one I'm sure a lot of the people that did the challenge will have those uh those those vehicles in their collection um i only have this rather plain car in the background of spider-man 150 spider-man being thrown through the windshield of a car right there by the kingpin this is just a great cover and i believe this is john Romita uh senior cover correct me if i'm wrong i i do know it was around uh, it was, you know, Gil Kane had taken over um, the the art responsibilities for the book, uh, you know, right around <clears throat> 100. So this may be a Gil Kane cover. Um, they're just, yeah, this is a Gil Kane cover. It's, it's definitely not Romita. I mean, it, it has elements... Of Romita, but it's it's probably it's most likely a Gil Kane cover. Okay, and moving on. Um, well, automobiles. Um, so this is another cover that Cole shared in his list. It was his number one. Um, Action Comics uh, one. That's a, the, probably the most famous car in comics. Um, the most famous homage pose as well uh, just people crashing cars that'd be another great comic to have there's that great McFarlane Spider-Man cover where he's crashing the police car that, that's another comic I'd, I would have loved to have featured in this list I just don't have that comic um, I do want that comic and that's something we may pick up at some point but uh, don't have it currently in the collection this is like a really cool so we've moved on from uh Planes, trains, and automobiles, and we're heading into uh, bi pedal uh, or bi yeah bi bi pedal vehicles, which is uh, this great bat scooter driven by Batgirl. That's just a cool classic bat scooter. That may be the, be the first appearance of the Bat Scooter in comics. This is Superman, what is it? Superman 268. Uh, again, Batgirl just, I guess, can keep up with Superman <laughs> on a scooter. Um, rather, rather hilarious. Um, these uh, Silver Age, Bronze Age, early Bronze Age uh, DC books. This is a, a cooler version of something on two wheels, and that's Ghost Rider's 90s uh, motorbike. And that's another thing I'm sure people have 
in their lists in this challenge the new Ghost Rider muscle car that is just an amazing looking yeah car um, so I think Ghost Rider 1 is like it's really heating up in terms of popularity um, there's a bunch of uh, you know variant covers all, all associated with that I know Peach Momoko put out some Ghost Rider uh, variant covers that I definitely want to add to the collection um, but yeah those the, the particularly the cars um, in the new series uh, look amazing I'm glad he's graduated from motorbike to car um, and uh, next this is an interesting one um, and it's a it, again it's a, a comic that the more and more I look at it and I'm just so happy to have added this to my collection um, Spy Spidey Super Stories number 16 it's uh, Jaws homage but that Jaws is actually not a shark it's a, a submarine uh, designed to look like a shark so you know there are a lot of uh, airplanes with the, with the shark uh, decals to have that shark design in the air this is one that actually was designed to be like a mechanical shark in water um, in the story. So that's a shark submarine. Uh, and I'm sure there won't be too many of this cover um, that will be featured on these lists. So I'm glad I have at least one book that probably you won't see. Um, and again, I think I, I, I mentioned Millennium Falcon. Slave One would have been another uh, vehicle that we would want to see in the list. So if you have a great Slave One uh, comic, hopefully you uh, take part in this and show that off. That uh, a nice Slave One uh, vehicle on a cover would would really be awesome. Again, the Millennium Falcon. What are some other great vehicles? I'm just trying to think. Um, I guess like the Enterprise. <laughs> Get any more classic than the Enterprise in terms of, or inter, like famous than the Enterprise in terms of vehicles. And you get a great Enterprise cover here on Star Trek Three. This was just a cover by. I don't, you know, I'm not like a big Star Trek collector. I just thought that that was a cool cover featuring the Enterprise. I mean, you know, because you don't often see the Enterprise featured in like comics like this. So I thought that was just cool and it's like the old school it's like you know the the star trek the motion picture enterprise not the television series enterprise so uh right when the uh you know the enterprise design started getting really cool when it moved into cinema all right i guess we're down to my last cover so we've had these are the top 10 vehicle covers in my collection and number one is the crotch rocket superman's crotch rocket yes uh world of krypton number three this is a beautiful copy absolutely beautiful copy crispy mint cup bronze age book and uh yeah um the the crotch rocket there coming out of superman's kryptonaut nether region um this is an homage to uh, Superman 300, homage cover to that. Um, there's a crotch rocket there. And I know uh, Naman Young showed that off. Uh, so this is, a, this is a shout out to Naman Young as well. Uh, I do want that Superman 300. I, I, I've been, you know, I went to my comic shop. Ha my comic shop had it. I could have picked it up for three bucks. I just waited on it and then now it's gone so we'll have to do that at some point all right well that's it my top 10 vehicular uh books in the collection i had a lot of fun with this so uh i'm looking forward i think uh cole and bearded have another uh, comic challenge coming up so i'm gonna look and be interested to see what that is and and see if i'll take part but uh, i had fun with this one so thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one